May I take your order? Tony Jaa is a world-famous Thai actor and an Asian martial arts master. He's also a stuntman, a film director, and a fight choreographer. Inspired by action film legends, Jaa dedicated his life to Thai boxing, known as Muay Thai. He's built a successful career both in Asia and Hollywood. Watch our new video to learn how a simple Thai province boy rose to worldwide prominence. Tony Jaa, how the best Thai martial arts actor lives and how he spends his millions. Tony Jaa, whose real name is Phanam Yiram, was born on February 5, 1976 in Surin province. This is the northeast area of Thailand, located not far from the Cambodia border. Future actor was born to Rin Sai Pech and Tong Di Yiram, Thai people of the Khmer ethnic group, who spent their life training elephants and growing rice. Ja also has two sisters and a brother. Phanam started to demonstrate great jumping abilities when he was a little child. He spent all his free time with baby elephants who became his first coaches. The boy hopped on their backs and as the animals grew higher, so did his hops. He was also into sports, including basketball. Action films starring Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, and Jet Li sparked his interest in martial arts. There were no movie theaters in the boy's province, so he had to travel about six miles to watch the movies at temple fairs. He memorized the stunts to learn them later on his father's rice field. Later, the actor shared that he was struck by the beauty and courage he saw in the work of Lee and Chen, so he decided to achieve the same level of mastery. The hard-working Thai started to grind, practicing eight hours a day until his movements became as sharp as his idols. When Phanam was 10, he started taking Muay Thai classes in the local temple. His father was against his passion, but Tony wouldn't back down, and he even threatened to kill himself if his father wouldn't let him do what he loved. The man had to reconcile himself to his son's choice, and soon he began to coach his son as he used to be interested in Thai boxing too. In his teenage years, the boy also learned Taekwondo, Krabi Krabong, and other kinds of martial arts, winning several championships. When Phanam was 15, he met Pana Ritakrai, his main teacher and mentor, film director, and martial arts action choreographer. At first, he was made a production assistant and given routine tasks. He brought water for the film crew and held the umbrella for the director. Soon, he managed to showcase his skills to Ritakrai, and the director let him star in the local action films. After that, the young man went to Mahasarakam College of Physical Education in Mahasarakam Province, where he practiced long and high jump, learned acrobatics, and sword fighting. After the guy got his bachelor's degree, he returned home and resumed his work in Ritakrai's stuntman team. Soon, he filmed for an energy drink commercial performing stunts for the Hong Kong actor Samo Hung. Ja had to do a peculiar stunt, grab an elephant by its tusk, and get on its back. To achieve body proportions resembling Hung, he had to wear several pillows. During the same time, the actor took a stage name that the Western audience would find easier to pronounce, Tony Ja. In the 1990s, he joined the cast of such movies as Siamese Lion, Spirited Warrior, Hard Gun, and Bangkok Warrior. In 1997, the experienced stunt double was offered to stunt for Robin Shu in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Ja was perfect for the job thanks to his physique and the fact that he was skilled in different martial arts. In 2001, Ja played the main role in yet another martial arts movie directed by Panna Riddick Rai titled Muay Thai Assassin. Tony and Panna started learning Muay Buran, a martial arts style from which Muay Thai originated. They spent around four years practicing to shoot a film about the style. Riddick Rai made a short film capturing all skills of his disciple. Freitia Pinkow, a Thai producer and film director, was one of the first people who saw the movie. He got very intrigued by the talented young man. 2003 was a turning point in Jaws' career. Tony starred in the action film Ong Bak, Muay Thai Warrior, which was directed by Pinkow and sponsored by Thailand, Hong Kong, and France. He played the role of a young martial arts teacher who's on a mission to retrieve the stolen Buddha statue head and bring it back to his village. We got a new champion tonight! Hey, hey, 
The role of Ting was a breakthrough for Tony, and the whole world was buzzing about his ability to do the most dangerous stunts without any special effects. He became a new Asian martial arts movie star. Apart from that, he received a prize at the Star Entertainment Awards for Actor in Leading Role of the Year. He was also nominated for Thailand National Film Association Awards. Ja demonstrated his unique style, combining extreme acrobatics and fast dance-like movements. However, he couldn't avoid injuries. The actor got a ligament injury and dislocated his ankle. Moreover, in one of the scenes, Tony's pants caught on fire. During an interview, the man shared that he got serious burns as the fire spread around, instantly burning his eyebrows, lashes, and nose, so he felt like a grilled steak. They had to go through several takes to get the stunts right. No wonder the actor considers this scene to be one of the most dangerous in his career. According to Tony, Ong Bak brought Thailand and local talents into the international spotlight. During that time, Ja signed a 10-year exclusive contract with the Thai studio Samunko Film. He was paid $1,600 on a monthly basis under the contract. The executives could also add bonuses. But later on, the actor's manager stated that the contract never had any legal validity. He also claimed that the film studio tried to trick Tony into prolonging the contract until 2023. This would mean that Tony wouldn't be able to work outside of Thailand and the company would get a percentage of his income. In 2004, Ja made an appearance in the comedy action movie The Bodyguard, directed by Panna In 2005, Racha Pinkeo released another hit, The Protector. The production crew featured the US, France, and Hong Kong. Ja received a prize at Thailand National Film Association Awards. The film narrates the story of a Thai family whose elephants were stolen and sent to Sydney by poachers. A fearless guy named Kam, portrayed by Tony, goes to Australia to fight the criminals and serve justice. Ja shared that poaching, especially when it came to elephants, was a very important subject for him as he grew up with these magnificent creatures. The actor firmly believes that people have to protect nature as it's an inseparable part of everyone's life. Soon after that, the actor voiced his character in The Protector for the video game with the same name. In 2006, Tony Ja went to New York on a promotion tour for the film The Protector. Visit to the Museum of the Moving Image was one of the highlights for the Thai actor. The Protector turned out to be the most commercially successful Thai movie at the world box office. There was a huge number of world press tours and presentations. The actor admitted that it was a truly exciting time. Meanwhile, the film company Samunko Film announced a new movie starring Tony as the leading actor. The movie Sword, dedicated to the arts of Thai two-sword fighting, was never released because of the conflict that sparked between the actor and Prasha Pinkeo. In 2007, Ja appeared in the sequel to The Bodyguard. In 2008, he made his screenwriting, directorial, and producing debut, teaming up with Panna Riddikrai on the action movie On Back to The Beginning. The movie plot has nothing to do with the first part and tells about the remote past of Thailand. <laughs> Tony portrayed a fighter named Tian who is obsessed to avenge his father's death on the king. The actor was nominated for Thailand National Film Association Awards and received several other awards for the role. Once again, the actor stunned the viewers by his insane mastery of different styles of martial arts. Moreover, Jaws idol Jackie Chan saw his movies and was so impressed that he asked the American film director Brett Ratner to cast the Thai actor in the comedy action movie Rush Hour 3. Chan praised Ja as one of the most versatile action movie stars. Ratner liked him as well, but Tony had to turn down the role in the US due to a scheduling conflict as he was filming for Ong Back to the Beginning. In 2010, Tony Ja and Panna Riddick Rai released the film Ong Back 3, which they co-wrote, co-directed, and co-produced. Ja's character continues his battle with the violent king, only this time the creators decided to explore the dramatic element rather than focus on martial arts. The experiment didn't really resonate with the audience, but Tony still received a nomination at the Duval Asian Film Festival. The same year, Tony suddenly announced that he was leaving the movie industry to become a Buddhist monk at a certain temple. However, he didn't stay there for long. In May 2012, Tony married Payarat Chodewananath. 
his longtime girlfriend. Later, the couple had two daughters. In 2013, Jean collaborated with the director Pracha Pinkeo and Tana Riddikrai once again on the action movie The Protector 2. His character continues the search for his favorite elephant. <laughs> Jock who starred with Yannin Vismintinanda, another Thai martial arts star. Later on, Jock confessed that the movie ended up looking a bit unrealistic because they used too much CGI and ropes. He prefers a more authentic kind of fighting. Also in 2013, Jock started working on a Thai comedy western with Dolph Lundgren, but the project was closed. Still, Tony got another chance to co-star with one of his idols. In 2014, the criminal action movie Skin Trade came out, in which our hero portrayed a detective investigating a human trafficking case. Despite the difference in jaw and Lundgren's height and weight, Tony managed to stage impeccable fighting scenes. He shared the key to staging fights in an interview. The main thing is to think through all movements of the characters and make sure that they look authentic. He spent four days coming up with his fight with Michael Jai White. As for the scenes with Dolph Lundgren, they practiced for a couple weeks. Dolph once recounted that it was hard to make his bigger physique and Jaws' acrobatic skills work, so they spent around a week filming fight scenes. On top of that, the actor got many bruises from the accurate punches of the Thai master. In 2014, the actor signed up to star in the sports action movie Kickboxer Vengeance. He was supposed to play the mentor of the main character, but he had to drop out from the project due to schedule difficulties. The role went to Jean-Claude Van Damme. In 2015, Tony finally got an opportunity to bring his mastery to Hollywood. He was cast in James Van's Furious 7. The movie became a blockbuster, grossing around $1.5 billion at the world box office with a budget of $190 million. Even though the actor didn't get a big role, the whole world was amazed by his incredible stunts. Later on, Tony said that he had always been a fan of the dynamic and captivating Fast and Furious franchise. He also enjoyed how the creators could balance humor and action. The actor was over the moon because he made his Hollywood debut with his motion picture, but he admitted that he was very anxious on set. By the way, while working on Furious 7, Tony and Vin Diesel got so close that they started treating each other like family. The movie premiere almost got banned in Thailand. The film company, Samanko Film, claimed that Tony Ja violated the decades-long contract he signed with the company by starring in a Hollywood project. The Thai company demanded compensation in the amount of $49 million and banning Furious 7 in the country. Luckily, the court dismissed their lawsuit. In the same 2015, the Thai actor got a leading role in the action movie Kill Zone 2, produced by Hong Kong and Chinese teams. Ja played a prison guard whose daughter has leukemia. The actor was happy to accept the offer as he liked the cast and the script. He also showed his dramatic range, keeping the fighting elements, of course. One time, Josh shared that he found to be the most interesting movies that not only include fight scenes, but also have an engaging plot and challenge the actors. The movie Kill Zone 2 checked all of the boxes. By the way, the actor decided to focus on his international career after his contract with Samanko Film ended in 2013. Thanks to bigger budgets, better equipment, filming crews, and scripts, Tony has more room for creating grand and interesting movies. This also allows the actor to create motion pictures that combine action and acting in the most organic way. In 2016, the Thai actor got a bit role in the sports action movie Never Back Down, No Surrender, directed by Michael Jai White. Come on. A big fan. A big fan. Let me take a picture. Okay. Oh, I did. Oh, good luck. The same year, Tony got to work with Vin Diesel one more time. He got a secondary role in action thriller Triple X Return of Xander Cage. The actor said he had a great time with the cast and he had a blast filming the movie. In 2017, our hero appeared in the Chinese short movie On That Night While We Drink. He also joined the cast of the drama action movie Paradox. <laughs> Ajahn. 
2018 was the year when the crime action movie Triple Threat came out. Ja appeared on screen with such famous actors as Iko Uwais, Scott Adkins, and Michael Jai White. <laughs> The actor also appeared in the action movie of Chinese and Hong Kong origin titled Master Z Ip Man Legacy. In 2020, Ja played a leading role in the fantasy action movie Monster Hunter by Paul W.S. Anderson. Tony co-starred with Mila Jovovich and portrayed a brave hunter who has adapted to life in a parallel world inhabited by terrifying monsters. Hunter. Hunter. Ranger. Yeah. Hunter. Yes. <laughs> In the same year, the actor co-starred with Nicolas Cage in the fantasy action movie Jiu-Jitsu. In 2021, he embodied the role of a private detective in the Chinese comedy action movie Detective Chinatown 3, which grossed around $700 million. In September 2023, the long-anticipated Hollywood blockbuster Expendables 4 finally premiered. Tony got to work with a whole array of world stars, including Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, 50 Cent, and Megan Fox. But I put the man behind me, if what you say is true. Barney should have his revenge. Damn right, should. Jaws' net worth is estimated at about 10 to 12 million dollars. This is why the actor can afford luxurious cars like a gray Lamborghini worth $200,000. The actor currently resides in his stunning Bangkok house with his wife and two daughters. The house is equipped with everything for daily practice sessions and sharpening fighting skills. Apart from that, Tony has two elephants that he rides and trains. The actor could be spotted in some commercials where he demonstrated his mastery. For example, in 2006, Ja did a Mitsubishi Motors commercial. He also appeared in a commercial for a fruit called Longan and donated his salary to Thai farmers. The actor still has a deep connection with his village. The locals say that the Thai star often visits Seren and donates a lot of money to schools and temples. In addition to that, Tony spent around $300,000 to build a two-floor mansion for his parents. Muay Thai has started to gain popularity outside of Thailand thanks to the successful career of Tony Ja. For instance, in 2019, the Muay Thai Association hosted a championship in the Indian state of Kerala. More than 350,000 sportsmen attended the event. It's no wonder that young people around the world get inspired watching Ja jump 12 feet high and make a kick so strong that it can break wood. Apart from being a Muay Thai master, our hero has a black belt in Taekwondo and Wushu. The fighter is 5'5 five five tall, weighing 136 pounds. Ja is fluent in the Thai and Khmer languages and started learning English when he got his first international gigs. The Thai actor is friends with Jason Statham and Scott Adkins. The actor named the criminal action movie The Raid one of his favorite movies. Enter the Dragon starring Bruce Lee is the best movie about martial arts in Ja's opinion. He'd also love to star in a superhero film. Fun fact, Tony Jaw officially changed his real name, Phantom Yuram, to Thatchakin Yuram, while his Thai fans know him as Ja Phantom. Do you think that Tony Jaw will get a leading role in a Hollywood blockbuster one day? I had a plan. Good plan. We almost died. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.